Hello students, welcome back to the second video of this playlist. In this video, uh, we will be solving question number 2 from October 2024 P2 paper. So let's see uh, what's the question number 2 from this paper is about. So basically, uh, the concepts behind this question, that is question number 2, it's from sequence and series that has been discussed in chapter number 5 of your pure mathematics 2 textbook so in order to be able to solve this question uh, we should have idea about sequences like how to deal with uh, periodic sequence and how to find out the terms of a sequence so let's get started with the second question of October 2024 P2 paper. So, uh, a sequence of numbers U1, U2, U3 is defined by U1 equals to 7 and the what? Uh, this is what called as recurrence relation, right? Recurrence relation U of n plus 1, it is given by negative 1 to the power n times U of n plus k, where k is a constant fine so part a is asking here to show that u5 is what save u5 u5 equals to 7 okay so we need to find out the fifth term of this sequence okay so we know the recurrence relation formula we have the first term so we can easily find out what okay we can easily find out u2 right so u2 would be what uh, u of 1 plus 1 so that means uh, u2 would be negative 1 to the power what 1 times negative 1 to the power n times u of n u of n since n is 1 here so u1 u1 is what say even okay plus k so it would be k minus what say even done we got u2 then u3 u3 is what u of 2 plus 1 that means negative 1 what to the power n n is what now 2 so squared times u of n u of n we got k minus 7 u of uh, u of 2 that is the previous term we got k minus 7 plus k so what it would be negative 1 whole squared is what 1 so k minus 7 plus k which is 2k minus 7 we, we got u3 next is what u4 u4 is what u of 3 plus 1 that means negative 1 to the power 3 that is cube times u of what n is 3 so u of 3 u of 3 we got 2k minus what say then then plus k as part the formula so negative 1 whole cube is what negative so negative 2k negative 2k plus 7 negative 2k plus 7 plus k so what it would give a uh, 7 minus k fine and the last term for this question part a u5 it is what u of 4 plus 1 that is negative 1 to the power in place of n it is what 4 times what the u4 u4 we got 7 minus k okay plus what k so uh, negative 1 to the power 4 is 1 so 7 minus k plus k you are getting 7 exactly and that's what exactly part a of the question number 2 has asked for okay next is part b so in part b uh, given that sum sum of u of r equals to 30 so sum this this sum is from the first term that is r equals to 1 to 4 so sum of u r from r equals to 1 to 4 it is what 30 okay fine so it's asking to find the value of k so we need to find out the value of k so the sum of the first four terms of this sequence is 30 okay so that means what u1 plus u2 plus u3 plus u4 this is equals to 30 now add them up 
we know u1 we know the first four terms isn't it k minus 7 then uh, what the first term is not k minus 7 it's 7 so 7 plus k minus 7 plus what 2k minus 7 2k minus 7 u1 u2 u3 and u4 is 7 minus k 7 minus k this is equals to what 30 okay now how many k's we got here k plus 2k this is 3k minus k which is 2k plus 7 minus 7 cancels out negative 7 plus 7 cancels out this is equals to 30 okay so the value for k is what 15 and that's what we got the value for k and that's what part b has asked for okay next is part c in part c they are asking to find the value of summation of ur from r equals to 1 to r equals to 150 that means uh, we need to find out the sum of the first 150 terms of this sequence okay and they said hence that means we need to use the value of k that we found in part b okay fine so for finding the summation this type of question is very uh, repetitive in the past papers you can see so for this type of question we will at first aim at the what at the period and the order of this sequence okay so you need to figure out that whether the given sequence is periodic or not so since we got u1 7 and then we got what u5 7 that means this sequence is what periodic right and after four terms that is u1 is 7 so u2 u3 u4 u5 after four terms the period is getting what repeated right that means this sequence the given sequence is a periodic sequence with order what four so we will use this concept to find out this what summation so at first what, what we will figure out we will figure out that from r equals to 1 to r equals to 150 okay how many complete periods this sequence has so uh order is what order is order is four since order is four so from r equals to 1 to r equals to 150 there will be complete 37 periods okay complete 37 periods so 37 times 4 gives us 148 so then uh, the, the there will be more two terms from the new period okay so how we will do this summation have a look on it uh, sum of u of r from r equals to 1 to 150 okay this is equals what the first how many periods we got 37 so 37 times u1 plus u2 plus what u3 plus u4 and then we need to add separately again what we got 137 times 4 it gives 148 that means the 149th term would be again what new period u1 plus what again uh, u2 that's it so 37 times what u1 is what uh, 7 uh, u2 is uh, let me check it out u2 is basically k minus 7 that means 15 minus 7 that would give you 8 u3 u3 is here uh, 2k minus 7 it is 2k minus 7 that is 15 minus 7 which is 23 and u4 u4 is 7 minus k which means 7 minus 15 which is negative 8 fine plus u1 u1 is what 7 and u2 is 8 okay so as you do this sum what you will get 8 minus 8 cancels out 8 and minus 8 cancels out 23 plus 7 this is what uh, 30 so 30 times 37 plus what 15 right 
so 30 times 37 30 times 37 plus what 15 so the summation would be 30 times 37 plus 15 it is 11 1125 and test the answer for the summation of u of r from r equals to 1 to 150 and that's what part c of question number 2 has asked for